hey hi this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to fix teams login issue so let's get started microsoft teams is available in the office 365 subscription and it is also available for free as well so most likely if you have a office 365 subscription if it is not an app subscription then you should have microsoft teams included in your subscription already and uh, teams can be logged in on the browser version and on on the desktop application as well as you can see i have the desktop application here but it can also be logged in to the browser if you, if you don't want to install the teams application on the computer sometimes we get error while logging in to the teams application on the computer it can show us a blank screen and does not move forward or it never asks for the password and it gives us the error which looks something like this we are sorry we have run into an issue and it gives us a restart and a signing out button there also an error code at the bottom but most of this error can be resolved when we clear the cache of the teams application on the computer but before we do that we have to make sure that the account which we are using has a valid teams subscription on it so if you are using a paid subscription for microsoft teams you can simply open a browser and go to office.com and then sign in with your account which has the team's license to it and once you are signed in you should see this page and the office.com url at the top you can confirm that and you should see all the application which is available to that account if you see microsoft teams here that means yes your account is having the team subscription and you should be able to log in to the teams application on the desktop as well if you cannot see teams here you can confirm by clicking on the nine dots also called as app launcher and then you should see all the application here and if you don't see teams again uh, that means you don't have the license for microsoft teams and you will not be able to sign in to the desktop application but if you do see the application here teams uh, that means your account should work with the desktop application so let's go back to the desktop and uh, let's see what we can do to fix the issue so uh, as i mentioned clearing cache would fix most of the issue which we see which has different error code but looks like this uh, for clearing the cache we have to go to user profile so for clearing the cache uh, there are two ways to achieve it uh, we can directly put the path in the run window and open the folder or we can navigate to that particular folder let me just first show you how to navigate to that folder and then we'll see the other way to do it as well so we'll first open the file explorer we will go to the c drive we will go to users and then we will select the user from the list here which id we are using to sign in on this computer so currently i'm using this one so i will open that and then I I will go to the app data folder in case you are not able to see the app data folder you will have to click on view and then click on hidden items just check the box and it will show you the hidden items as well and the app data is a hidden folder as you can see it is slightly blurred so we'll open it we will go to roaming folder then microsoft folder and here we have the teams folder it basically stores all the cache of the teams desktop application so uh, what we will do is we will just rename the folder and we will force microsoft teams to create a new folder when when it starts again so uh, just make sure the teams is closed completely and make sure that it is not running in in this window here as well and once you confirm that it is not running you can close it from the task manager as well 
uh, you can simply come here and click on teams and rename it to teams.old and now it was able to successfully do it because teams was closed completely no office application was running in case you are having issues renaming it and it gives you the error that the folder is already in use just make sure all the office applications are closed and then try again so once we have renamed it we will simply click on the microsoft teams desktop application and we'll try to sign in back again and you will see that once it opens it creates a new teams folder and it regenerates all the files within it and as you can see yes uh, there is a new folder created and it will give you the sign in prompt and all the stuff and as you can see it is suggesting me to sign in with different ids uh, i can simply click on use another account or sign up even though if you find your id listed here just choose on use another account or sign up and then uh, you can simply type in your email address and your password and if you have mfa turned on it will prompt you for the code or approval in the authenticator app once done you should be able to open the microsoft teams application successfully if after entering the password and entering the code if it gives you this prompt uh, just select no sign in to this app only and check the behavior in case you're still facing the issue so after you enter your email address your password if it asks you for this window just select no sign in to this app only and check the behavior so there you go guys this was how we can clear the cache of microsoft teams do let me know if you have any question or doubt about this you can always mention that in the comment section so this was the first way to navigate to the path the other way to do it is let me just close microsoft teams and i will close this as well you just have to search for run application on your computer and then paste this value in it so let me just highlight it here this is what it is in the run percentage app data percentage back slash microsoft backslash teams if you put this into run and hit ok it will directly take you to the path where we renamed the folder so this is the folder which we renamed so you might want to go back one step and then rename the folder making sure that the teams is closed before that so there you go guys this was the way in which we can clear the cache of microsoft teams and log in into it successfully do let me know if you have any question and you have a nice day bye take care